Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy D-Wayne bringing you yet another YouTube video at this time. So basically what I'm going to be discussing with you guys today is we got a new Mermel card coming out of the um, the new Circuit Breaker pack. Um, basically the card is pretty interesting, not in the best of ways, but I don't know. I guess we'll just read it out and see, see what you guys think, give you guys my thoughts on it, and we'll just go from there. All right, so let's get into the card, shall we? All right, so the card's name is Mermel Naria Abyss. The set line is um, level 3, 1200, attack, 2000 defense. It's a water aqua effect, of course, which all the females are, basically. Uh, yeah, she has two effects, so one of them reads, During either player's turn, you can discard this card, then target one water monster you control, destroy another water monster in your hand or field. And if you do, uh, the targeted monster gains attack and defense equal to the original attack and defense of the destroyed monster until the end phase of this turn. So the second effect reads, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can draw one card and then discard one card from your hand. So basically, let's go ahead and dissect this card like I do many other cards. So, uh, first sentence reads, during either player's turn, which is really good means is obviously a quickie, quick effect of course. Uh, you can discard this card which makes it an obvious hand trap. Uh, to target one water monster you control, destroy one other water monster in your hand or field. So that instantly makes this a card, makes this effect a three card setup. So yeah, um, discard card, water monster in your hand or field, and if you do the targeted monster gains attack and defense, equal the original attack and defense of the destroyed monster until the end phase of the turn. Honestly, I don't, it doesn't make, I don't know, I don't like the effect honestly. It could, it definitely could have been better and I've already come up with a uh, alternate effect for the card but I'm going to dissect the first, you know, this actual effect first before I let you guys know what I actually, the actual extra effect that I come up with for the card. So. So yeah, so let's go into the second effect. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. So this is pretty simple enough indeed. Um, some of the uh, other females have effects when they're discarded from, you know, the hand to the, the hand to the graveyard to, you know, activate effects and stuff. I think Gun has the discarding to special summon the. Um, Stretch some in a mermail from your uh, graveyard, and then you have um, Abyss Hildy that's um, when it's sent to the graveyard, it can special some in a mermail from your hand. So, I guess that's okay. You know, you don't really use any of the, any of the other females besides Gun, and maybe Lynn, maybe is a one of with a Abyss Fear at one of as well. But the thing is, with uh, Lind, Lind has to be on the field. So the first part of this, you know, the first part of the effect will, I guess, facilitate that if you have a Lind on the field, so you can destroy the Lind on the field and then target the other water monster and gain its attack, meaning it'll gain the 1500 attack. And then, since Lind's effect is an if effect, um, Lind's effect won't miss any timing. So you would get the, you know, the effect to increase the other water monsters attack and defense and then you would get lens effect to special summon a mermel from the deck so that's okay but it definitely can be a whole lot better so yeah so with that dissected i'm gonna actually go into the alternate effect that i've come up with for the card so let's read these out so during either player's turn you can discard this card and one other water monster to target one water monster you control it gains 1000 attack and defense until the end of this turn the second effect reads, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can discard one card to draw one card. So let's basically just break down the first effect, of course. Once again, keeping with the original way the card was intended, as a quick, as a quick effect. And instead of destroying one other water monster on a, on a, in your hand or field, you can just discard this and one other water monster 
to target another water monster to gain a thousand attack and defense. So what that does is, if you happen to have any of the discardable mermels that trigger effects, or any of the Atlanteans in your hand, it'll also set off the Atlanteans' effects, which I believe makes it a whole lot better because you have more options on, you know, setting off more effects to go off. All right, so that's that's that. So um. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can discard one card, then draw one card. So basically, I flipped her second effect around, making the discard effect part of the activation requirement so that it will also trigger any of the discardable mermels and the Atlanteans as well. So that gives it a little bit more versatility. And of course, with the original effect, none of these effects are once per turn. So of course, these are not going to be once per turn either. So. That actually makes it pretty good. Then you know, Mermos have always had this thing with hand advantage. They, they're terrible at it because everything discards and stuff like that. So this basically still falls into that whole thing where the cards, where you don't really have much hand advantage in terms of the Mermos effects and stuff. So, so yeah. So I honestly think that alternate effect is better because it's more versatile and what effects it can trigger. And, you know, as I said, with the whole once per turn thing, it's not once per turn, so you have a little bit more speed in terms of, you know, getting the effect off. The only thing, it would have made it even better if it was a sea serpent. That would have made it just a little bit more searchable and give it a little bit more versatility, but that probably would have made it borderline, quote, broken and, you know, stuff like that. But, so yeah, overall thoughts on the original effect, I don't. It's not really it for me. I'm sure somebody will find a way to break this card. They always do. So, so yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll play it. Maybe I won't. But most likely I'm leaning towards not really playing it too much. Alright, so I'm going to keep it there. Keeping it short and sweet for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this card. Um, I'm going to post the you know original... Because this came off of Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization, of course. So what I'll do is I'll post a link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Alright? So I will leave that at that. So I'll be bringing you guys more videos in the meantime. But until then, peace, YouTube.